Welcome to another video here on the channel. I'm just going to do a video and show you around Sava train station, one of my favourite train stations in Britain. I'm going to go and take you to see the longest railway bench in the world. Now I have come down to the uh, world's longest railway bench here at Sardra. Lovely station. I do adore this station. I thought I'd do a quick video at my um, one of my favourite train stations. It might be number top four or number three. My favourite train station in Britain is Coombe Junction Holt in Cornwall, followed by a wick. I don't know where to put Sharbra. Either number four or five. It might be number three, but I think Paddington might be number three lovely station. This is a very long um, platform here at Sarbra. I'm going to take you down and show you the signal box. Just have to walk under this bridge and the platform just carries on under this bridge to where this gate is and then I will go in and zoom in and you, you roughly see the um, signal box. Now we're here at the um, end of the platform just walk down there. It takes a good three to four minutes to walk. Very long. I zoom in now. Oh signal box. I don't know if it's in use. This camera got a good lens on it. Here the um signal box. Sabra. I, I don't know if it's in use, it doesn't look like it's in use anymore, but in nice day they kept it. Got a cat there. Here the bench. I don't know who came up with the idea. Must have been like in the Victorian times when Satan first opened, they would have thought, you know, back in them days, I think thousands of people would have come to Sabra by steam trains, and I think, you know, a lot of people. You know, need a lot of seating because you wouldn't think a train station would have a bench, and it just and it's not like it bent planks of wood just join um, se um separated it all one plank of wood. And I can see why it is it just goes on for miles for a bench, very unique. And Sabra Station is just lovely, the nice Victorian architecture. And the whole of Sabra is nice. If you haven't been to Sabra, I would say come one summer for a little holiday, visit the train station, you'll be impressed. It is operated by um, Trans Panines Express services and it does have an, do an hourly northern service to Sheffield, right, Woodlinton and Filey. And then you've got this bit here, it like. I think this used to be where, back in the day, this used to where the goods used to come in, off the railway into there. But like it used to be some like sawish thing for goods from the like freight trains back in the day. This is nice here when I have a big Trans-Fanine Express service to either Manchester or. Uh, Liverpool, some of it comes all the way up to here, and if it's raining, you can sand under it quite nice. And then just over there is the um, the Sharber bus station depot, and then the bu buses just pull up outside the station. You get buses to Bridlington, Filey, um, Whitby, Middlesbrough. train going out soon to Manchester over there. What I do I like about Sabra when you stand here and you got the three Sabra signs just like that and it remind me of the uh, roundels at Loughton on the um, central line that they do that sort of thing. You got the train just there ready to depart to Manchester and then just and then you got Oliver's Mount um, little hill or not a cliff famous for motorcycling or something and that where I walk I'm not impressed with the bins they got this metal you won't get that blowing in the wind 
Do we have a waiting shelter? Like nice seats. Normally you don't get these type of seats in stuff like this. It's all just a horrible, uncomfy seat. But here at Sardra, got these nice fences. Uh, train station do have a car park for rail customers. Got a northern train in there, going back out for um, uh, Sheffield, I think, or maybe Hall. They are doing the roof up that you can see with the Sapphire. Um, I think it used to have a nice glass roof, I think they're doing it up. Nice clock there. So I'm just got out the station, and I'm going to um, try and have a walk through um, the um, Go and see the signal box from a different angle. Bending machine there. Uh, Main the uh, ticket office here at Sharbra. Nice. Do I have a coffee shop here? Oh, no, again, plastic. Just outside now, this is the taxi thing. You can get a taxi on that. I think people will have to come and do a quick drop off as well. Got a theatre across the road. And then you walk down there and then you can walk to the seafront here in Sabra. I love this uh, clock uh, thing, clock tower thing. Very impressive. And just outside uh, Sarva train station, you do have the bus stops. I think this, uh, this one going to Whitby bus station. The X93, I have done that before. That going out now to Whitby. Like the last bus of the evening. I'm here on top of that railway bridge. Get a nice view of the uh, station. Zoom in a bit. Got a uh, train in there, I'll be going back out of York see the station I did take a nice picture very good uh, picture Blake you do come to Sharvia you still come to this bridge and do this very good for photos and videos I definitely want to come to Sharvia one time and do a train spotting video for the channel I will do it sometime this year when I get time now I walk down that road a bit and um, I'm here and um, get a better thing of the signal box definitely not in use anymore And that is where I stood earlier. Now here they're the um, welcome to Sharper sign. Lovely wood. I don't know what, I would love them to move the sign and put it up where the public can go. I think it would be nice because it's a lovely sign and people can't get to appreciate it. I don't know how long this bit of the platform haven't been in use. Looks very like a long time. Looks very overgrown and that but Come on there, uh, Trans uh, Pranine Services, who operate the station. Please sort of wonder where else, move the sign, just because it looks lovely. And I think 
people who visit Saba train station, holiday makers and that, who come to the station, so to get to appreciate this sign, the only pe people who really can see it, if you, if a train enthusiast like me, what will take the time and effort to walk, come and walk down here to see it, or if you're a train enthusiast again looking out the window, when you're coming in the station, or people, it, it'll be more appreciated where the public can go. I would love them to move it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my content. And if you do like my content, please subscribe to this channel for more videos.